So my whole strategy rolling out, right? Very first ad, very first part of the campaign. Let's call this week number one. Week number one is the like ad, right? We got that out the way. That's when you should run that like that that like ad. Get them, get their likes to a few thousand likes, and then and then follow up with this with the next appointment to get them on a retainer. And the retainer is going to consist of that next ad. So let's call that Facebook ad ad number two. That's the intro video. So the reason why you want to do that is because Facebook ads. A lot of people think that they can just run one ad and capture a shitload of leads. Like it doesn't happen that way. That's why the Facebook pixel is so important. That pixel has to start g- grabbing data. Facebook doesn't know exactly who your ideal client is. Now you can tell them the audience, okay, we want to follow people or we want to target people who are interested in insurance. You could tell Facebook that, but to but but to find the people that actually resonate with you, that's a different question. That's a different, that's a different top, that's that's something different. I can find you someone that's interested in hamburgers, but if I have a hamburger mm-hmm. restaurant. How does Facebook know that they're going to like my hamburgers? Like, they don't know that. Facebook can find you people who love hamburgers, but to like your hamburger, you have a different restaurant, bro, right? So, so, so that's why the pixel is so important. So Facebook can start grabbing the data. But when it comes to video, that's why video is so important. So you can start capturing the, the, the audience of people who are watching your video. So that's why with Facebook ads, it's like dating. Facebook ads is like dating. Like if you were going to, like, if I, if, if let's just put it this way, bro, some random chick, right? If I was going to take, if I met some random chick at a bar and, and, and I, and I, I started, you know, spitting game and, and, and giving her some lines and, and telling her how much, how beautiful she was and how I wanted to freaking take her out. If I met that chick at the bar right now, and I took her out of the bar and threw her in my back seat. Now, some girls are down, right? Some girls are down shit. Let's just keep it real. Some girls yeah. are down to jump in my back seat right away after the bar, but not all of them, not the best, not the best ones out there. The best ones out there are going to want you to date them. The best ones out there are going to give you their phone number and maybe call them tomorrow and maybe go out for coffee. Maybe the next day you go out for lunch. Maybe the next day you go to dinner and then maybe she's jumping in the back seat, right? But she's not jumping right. in the back seat if she's a good woman. She's not jumping in the back seat right away. With Facebook ads, it's the same thing. It's like you don't want to, you, you can't throw a conversions ad out right away when they don't even know you. That's why the very yes. next ad is video views. All we want to do is simply introduce ourselves. So click the green button. This next ad after we do the like ad is just a simple hello. It's not saying jump in the back seat just yet. Conversions is jump in the back seat. Video views is just saying hello. Hello, I wanted to introduce myself. Let me tell you a little bit about my background, my experience, and why I'm so excited to help people, blah, blah, blah. And that mm. can be like a two-minute friendly video. It's not a pitch. It's not saying, hey, you know, call me. I'm going to freaking give you the best rate ever. It's not a pitch. It's an intro. And again, the strategy behind that, so the very next ad is video views. So, so, so the strategy is to, is, to, is to warm the audience up. You're going to tell Facebook, hey, I'm targeting people who are interested in insurance. But when you run your video ad and they start to capture the audience of thousands of people who actually watch it, now they're getting an idea of who your ideal client is because these people, these 3,000 people actually watched your video. Now, the other 100,000 people that you were targeting in the audience, they didn't watch it. But the So am I targeting cold audience? Like yes, this, this is all cold. Yeah, that's why. This is the beginning. You're targeting a cold ass market. No one knows you. Okay. So, so that's why video views is a good strategy to run out video views. And again, the only objective is to capture an audience is to create a custom audience of those who watch 25% of it. Then after this, then I can go on, on to the third ad week number three, then I can go week number four, week number five, and just keep running conversion ads, retargeting the people who are watching my videos, because so, now okay, I'm creating okay. custom audiences. So, 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 hold on. So, video number two is a uh, intro video. Video uh, views. Uh, yeah, intro yeah, video, video, view, video okay. views. Okay. And then when it comes to the week three, I create new ad and I turn off the video number two. Is that correct? Yes. Or I keep video yes, you can, you can do that. But you know what? Here's what I also find out that that really works as well. Video views, this intro video, you don't oh, have I'll to put- Oh, I keep that forever, yeah, you don't have to put a lot of money to it. Like you can yep. you can let it run forever at a low budget. Exactly. 
that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, and, that, and then, that, and then, and then always strategy. retarget the people who are watching it. So video or ad number three, ad number four, ad number five, ad number nine, you keep retargeting the people who are watching your video. What would be the uh, video number three then? Here's how you want to lay it out. Every week, again, you want to get the client in the mindset of doing yes. a new video, right? Yes, and every minutes, week, yeah. every week, this is a good question that you're bringing up. Every week, you want to stay on the same topic. And every week, you want to start doing educational type of videos. Not where you're pitching a rate, not where you're pitching, you know, call me, I'll, I'll give you the best plan ever. No, that's a pitch. You don't want to pitch. You want to educate. So if, if life insurance is what we're talking about, keep giving me tips every week. Give me a new tip on life insurance. Every new, every week, educate me on something different about life insurance. They're education-based videos. But, but as I mentioned before, at the end of the video, at the end of the video, there's always a call to action. So at the end of the video, hey guys, and by the way, if you'd like to download my free 2021 life insurance guide, in this guide, we go over the different premiums and what you and your family can benefit for choosing different plans. Click learn more. So now it's not, the intro video is send message. The button, the call to action button is send message mm -hmm. on, on, the, on, the, on the intro video. But week number three and on, it's now learn more because now we're going to conversion ads and now we're running it to our squeeze page. So at the end of the video, it's always, hey guys, and don't forget to click learn more. It'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free life insurance guide. In this guide, I cover this, 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 and this. You can download your free copy now. Click learn more. See you guys there. And I'm just targeting people who saw my intro video. Is that correct? That and you're going to continue to target the cold market. So every week you're targeting, you're targeting different, different interest groups. No, no, no. Thir third video, video number three. That's you're, not intro. That, yes, that's... You're, yes, you're retargeting the intro viewers always. Always, you're gonna plus, always you're gonna always target other audiences as well, which I'll show you on our, on our next oh, call. So I will not exclude. Okay, okay, I understand. Yeah. Right. So so you'll always retarget your video views. You'll always retarget that custom audience. Twenty five percent. You're gonna always retarget them. You're gonna always retarget your website visitors, right? You're gonna always exclude your leads, the custom audience, yeah. the leads. You're gonna always exclude them. But every week, yeah, you're targeting different audiences you're targeting different cold audiences which we'll get into on our next call but okay. yes you're always targeting these video viewers yes always okay okay perfect yeah okay. it's making sense it's making sense uh, and, I and and, and the, I, I bring up the whole dating and throwing the girl in the back seat because again that's how facebook ads work people have to see you they have to see you they have to keep seeing you you know what i mean that's why running a, a new ad is is very important a different ad is very important because they have to keep seeing you. And if you're captured, if as long as you're creating the custom audiences around these videos, now the custom audience, it's not just based on the video view, the intro video, the custom audience of the video, the 25%, that's going to be, we're going to create a custom audience around every video. So mm. it's only the first one though, that's video views. But as I run the next ad, ad number two, ad number three, ad number four, I'm running conversions. So, so hit the X, hit the X, X out of this, hit the green button again. And, and go back, go, yeah, hit the green, yeah, click, uh, close, and click the green button. So, so ad number two and on, it, it's going to always be a video. We always want to try to run a video, a video, but it's not video views. It's only video views for the first one. Oh, I see. That's the no, intro. Exactly. I want to get thousands of people to see that. That's the whole objective with that one is to get thousands of people to see it. But, but when I go run video ad, video ad number three, let's call it week three. Week three yep. and on, it's all conversions, but they're also videos. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to keep creating my custom audiences. I'm going to keep creating audiences, the 25% around every video. But I'm running conversions. Week number three and on, I'm running conversions because now I'm telling them to click learn more. In the video, now I'm telling them to click learn more. So it's conversions. But I'm mm -hmm. retargeting everyone who, who's been watching all my week. Let's say I'm on week number nine. If I'm on week number nine, ad number nine, and for the past eight weeks, I ran mm -hmm. video ads, I should now have eight custom audiences, 25 percenters. And, and now I'm on week number nine. So now I'm going to retarget all of those audiences. 
And I'm going to continue to target my cold market. I'm going to continue to target the market for sure. But I'm also retargeting all eight audiences that watched 25% of all my last eight videos. Okay, okay, okay. Making sense. Yes, That's yes. how you create Great. this omnipresence. That's how you create this, this, this type of, of, of brand where people keep seeing you. Man, so you can literally make... Any business, I mean, I don't say famous, but well known in, in a neighborhood. Bro, 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 you couldn't have said it better. That's why when I talk about it, when I when I'm talking to a local business owner, yeah, and they're only focused on their local area, like a restaurant or like a like a like a yoga studio. When yeah. I'm talking to a business or a real estate agent, like life insurance, you can deal with clients anywhere. So life insurance is pretty nationwide. But if you're a local real estate agent, Gross. Store and restaurant, that's a grocery store, a restaurant. A grocery store, a restaurant. Hell yeah, bro. You can make that person famous. You can make that business famous because you're targeting such a small area. And that's if I it. keep running ads all the time to everyone in this in this small area, they're going to yeah. freaking keep seeing me. Hell yeah. It's only 24 miles. If you have a grocery yeah, store, bro, or restaurant, hell yeah. Like, hell yeah. And you that's why life videos. insurance, life insurance, this will be your test run. Because you're 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 an actual agent, so you have the experience and, and exactly. you have these clients. To be honest, maybe just for myself and maybe for a few of my friends. More I think about it, like uh, the, the the life insurance leads and all that. It, it is tricky. It's not that bad though, but there are way better opportunities out there, like yes, a restaurant, yes, like yes. A, any any other businesses. Yes, almost better than the life insurance. And 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 restaurants restaurants they can really use the help right now. And, and, and they're the easy. Industry. They're very, yep. very easy to run ads for. And yeah, yeah. they have the budget. Now, some of them don't have the budget right now because of bullshit times that we're going through. But well, they normally do. They really normally do. Great for, for them. I mean, it's not great for them, especially if you go online now, it's, it's about delivery because you, you can't go into a restaurant to sit down and then have a, somebody sitting next to you only yeah. if it's not yeah. sticks. Yeah, Wait. yeah, yeah. But these people, they need to be advertising online more than ever. More than that's ever. It. And, that, and that's, that's why, it. like, uh, another tip I can give you before we kind of change change the, the, the gear here. One, th as you're rolling out, as you're starting out, as you're starting to get to know this stuff, and as you're learning everything, and as you're going to go out and get clients, this is just something to keep in mind because of my mm -hmm. experience with real estate agents, for example. If I were to start all over, I would have probably went after. I would have probably went after a different business. Now I'm just like you. The reason why you're going after insurance agents is because you exactly. come from the. It's because you yes. come from the industry. Yes. I went after That's real, real estate agents. What's that? That's a great point, and I know you wouldn't go after them. That all, and even now I'm thinking, should I go after insurance agent? And like you said, the only reason I'm going after them because I'm the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's what I'm saying. That's me with real estate as well. The only reason why I went after real estate agents, I've been doing that since 2016. Still to this day, I just go after real estate agents. But the only reason why is because I came from the industry. That's the only reason yeah. why. But now if I were to really look at it differently, and if I were to start all over, and this is the advice that I give new, new people, you want to look at small business owners that actually have cash flow. Mm, A grocery store, cash flow. A restaurant, cash flow. Now that's businesses great. today are hurting right but these are these are typical businesses that are always cash flowing every day money is coming in every day with the with an insurance agent money is not coming in every day with the real estate agent money is not coming in every day that's it that's so, great so that's exactly why i'm not going to even waste my time uh, i'm going to do insurance just for myself i'm going to start campaign for myself try try to get the leads and then go from there but all this energy i'm going to focus on restaurants and and, and grocery stores Oh man, bro. I, we, that, that we'll, we'll be talking a lot more because I want to help you with all that. Like that's I simple. Sure. That's super simple. That's super simple. That's super simple. And they have cash flow. They have cash flow. So and that, I that's, live in that's a city. Good... There are like thousands of them just in my street. I live on Main Street, right next to the Washington Bridge. Man, bro, you can do very, very well, bro. Very, at just a few clients. You don't need all of them. Just a few. If you just, just had a, few. a few paying you a good amount. You know, and, 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 and I know for a fact that, again, a lot of businesses are hurting right now, but at the same time, with what you can perform, with the, with the services that you can deliver, and what I can teach you with running those types of ads, you can for sure, for sure, for sure re require a minimum, a minimum of, let's just call it a minimum of, of $2,500 a month. Well, that's great. I would love that. But uh, like I said, the, 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 I need 
build a confidence and a confidence to build confidence you need oh, yeah. to be we'll successful get we'll so get i need like few clients i don't even mind to working not for free but for minimum which is 400 dollars a month just you know what i mean just for me yeah. to get familiar and and, and boost my confidence yep. and after that i wouldn't mind to go after like 2500 a month yes man yes you'll get there you'll get there so this strategy right here man again start with video views the whole objective is to capture the audience and then retarget them with conversion ads from that point on so and and, and this can apply for anyone any business owner where you're just introducing yourself pull out your cell phone it doesn't have to be a, a fancy video at all a simple cell phone video. Hey guys, this is David. Just want to introduce myself. I am your local insurance agent. I've been in the insurance agents in, in, in the insurance industry for the past 15 years. I love what I do and I'm super excited about what we got going on. Like it's simple intro video, bro. Like on yeah. your cell phone. That's the yeah. first ad. That's video views. Okay. Keep it okay. simple. That's okay. Okay. That's called audience just to see who's going to be attracted to it. And then we, 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 we create Okay, okay, I understand. Video three will be conversions and, and yes, but, but 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 as I mentioned, as you go into the next ad, which would be conversions, now the button is learn more. Now, mm -hmm. at the end of that video, you tell the client at the end of your video at the last 10 seconds, make sure there's a call to action, which you would say, click learn more. So, the client in the video, you in the video, you introducing yourself in the video, um. The intro, that's one, but now we're on week number two. Now we're talking about, now we're giving a tip on life insurance. That's a different, that's not the intro video no more. In the intro video, there's no learn more. In the intro video, it's not click yeah, learn just more and download, right? I understand. It, it's just, it's just, hello, here's my name. You know, here, here's who I am. That's video views. That's the intro. But the second ad is conversions. Now we're talking click learn more. And, 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 and again, that's every ad from that point on. So when they do a video, always tell them, hey, man, at the end of the video, make sure you're saying to click learn more to download your 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 your, your uh, life insurance guide. Make sure you're always saying, at the, saying that at the end of your, of your video for ad number two and on. Um, and then again, with all the videos, you're going to create custom audiences around video views, around the video, around 25% of people who watch the video, every, every, right. every video from that point on. All right. All right. I understand. All right. Cool. So same thing you can do for a grocery store. I mean, the same thing. Exactly. Same, 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 bro. same thing. Same thing. Yep. Yes, yes. Yep. Okay, Video okay, views great. start with and then retarget with conversions. Uh, great. Perfect.